Welcome to Dorman Products Cam Phaser Installation Video. Before beginning this installation, disconnect the battery. It may be necessary to remove both front tires to make space for the repair. Note, be sure to check that all bolts, connectors, and wires are removed from the workspace under the hood to make for a trouble-free install. Remove the engine front cover. Remove the crankshaft sensor. Position the crankshaft keyway at the 12 o'clock position. The number one cylinder camshaft exhaust lobe must be coming up on the exhaust stroke. Verify by noting the position of the two intake camshaft lobes. Remove only the three designated camshaft roller followers from the right-hand cylinder head. Note, do not allow the valve keepers to fall off the valve. Mark the two links above the R on either side. Rotate the camshaft clockwise and position the crankshaft keyway at the 6 o'clock position. Note, if one or both tensioner mounting bolts are loosened or removed, the tensioner sealing bead must be inspected for seal integrity. If cracks, tears, separation from the tensioner body or permanent compression of the seal bead is observed, install a new tensioner or engine damage may occur. Remove the right-hand and left-hand timing chains and the crankshaft sprocket. Using the cam phaser locking tool, remove the bolt and the left-hand camshaft phaser and sprocket assembly. Discard the camshaft phaser and sprocket bolt. Remove the two bolts and the right-hand camshaft front bearing cap. Clean and inspect the right-hand camshaft bearing caps. Remove the right-hand camshaft. Install both left-hand and right-hand camshafts. Position the camshaft phaser and sprockets and install two new camshaft phaser and sprocket bolts finger tight. Only use hand tools to remove the camshaft phaser and sprocket assembly or damage may occur to the camshaft or camshaft phaser and sprocket. Using the cam phaser locking tool, tighten the left hand and right hand camshaft phaser and sprocket bolts in two stages. First, tighten to 30 foot pounds, then tighten an additional 90 degrees. Position the camshaft with the crankshaft holding tool, then remove the tool. Compress the tensioner plunger using a vise and install a retaining clip on the tensioner to hold the plunger in during installation. Install the crankshaft sprocket, making sure the flange faces forward. Position the lower end of the left-hand inner timing chain on the crankshaft sprocket, aligning the timing mark on the outer flange of the crankshaft sprocket with the single copper marked link on the chain. Position the timing chain on the camshaft phaser and sprocket with the timing mark positioned between the two marked chain links. To complete the installation, follow the instructions in reverse order.